Hey guys, welcome to my channel and today we're going to be talking about the four ways to use glitter for the holidays. We are going to be starting off with glitter lips. And for the first look, we are going to be exfoliating these lips. You should be doing this every time you put all lipstick on your lips, especially liquid lipstick. Um, I often forget, but there we go. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. And so once your lips are smooth, you're going to be going in with this color here, which is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Outlaw. The shade is a nice bright cherry red. It's super fun for the holidays, very Christmassy, and you're just going to want to pop that on, overline those lips, and make sure that you let this lipstick dry before you put any kind of glue or anything on it, and so it's going to be you know, annoying to wait, but you have to. So I'm going to be going in with the NYX glue, the glitter glue, and you're going to just be taking a little fingerful and just going to be popping it all over your lips. Make sure you let that kind of tack down as well. Taking the eye candy glitter, and this is in the shade Cherry Bomb, and you're going to be just pouncing that on your lips with little fingerfuls at a time. You don't want to overwhelm because you will get lots of fallout. But yeah, and that will not move, that will stay. Um, if you want more of a New Year's Eve look, I'm going to be going in with the uh, Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Weirdo. It's black, it's fabulous, it's very opaque, you don't have to go in with layers and layers of this. I did like maybe two layers of this and it's super opaque. But I find this lipstick takes a lot longer to dry, but it will not move either once it is dry. So going in with our glue again, just put it all over those lips. I used quite a bit of glue, but that's okay. And we're going to be going in with the Eye Candy in the Black Glitter shade. Uh, you're going to be wanting to put this all over your lips. Um, there is a lot of fallout with this, just because, you know, you, you're pushing it into your face. So uh, I found a good trick for helping get rid of that without taking your makeup off is just use a little bit of tape, lightly press it where the glitter is. It will take the glitter off without taking all of your makeup. Hard work off. So for our second look, we're going to be doing the glitter under the eyes and we're going to be going in with the uh, Kai Shadow Palette there and we're going to be using the shade Sugar Cookie. And then we're going to be going in after we cover our whole lids with the shade Chestnut and we're just going to be focusing that in our corners and in our crease area. Then we're going to be going in with the shade Silent Night and that is just to darken up the corner and we're going to blend it into our crease area but focusing it mostly on the corner to create depth. Then we are going to be taking our finger and we're going to be going into the shade Evergreen. The oils from our finger will allow the pigment to be very opaque. Just pop that all over the lid area. Then just use a brush to blend it out into your crease. We're going to be taking our Urban Decay Glitter Liner and we're just going to be applying this underneath where our lower lash line is. This will act as a nice glue for the pigmented glitter and it has its glitter in it already so it's just a nice base color. We're going to be taking uh, the gold glitter from Eye Candy and we're just going to be pushing that into our line there where we put our Urban Decay glitter liner and just wing it out. When I was putting on my mascara I totally like stabbed myself in the eye and I was like I cut that out so I didn't want you guys to see but my eyes are really watery so yeah just don't don't poke yourself in the eye with your mascara. So yeah don't forget your mascara, your bottom lashes and you're gonna want to whiten up that waterline and the inner corners. 
And there you go guys, that is just another different glitter look, a green and gold look for the holiday season. Okay, so now we're going to be doing a golden glitter eye with a bit of a twist. We're going to go going in with some tape and we're going to tape off those corners to get a smoother look. Going in with the Smashbox 24 hour shadow primer for our lids to keep everything in place. Going in with the Swamp Queen palette tart, we're going to be starting with Big Baby and we're going to be putting that all over our lid area. Going in with hashtag SFS shade is going to be going in our lid area, um, our crease area rather, and going down and creating a triangle shape and a nice winged shape with our eyeshadow there. Then we're going to be taking my favorite shade, Sippy Sippy, and we're going to be kind of darkening up that corner there, bringing it down to where you have your tape, and we're going to be going over there, NYX Glitter Primer, and I put that all over my lid, it didn't get filmed. Um, then after you let that tack down a bit, you're going to be going in with the eye candy and just the golden shade, putting it all over the lid area and down into the extended corner winged area there. Now you're just going to be taking any liner you wish, this is just a nice marker liner from Tarte, and you're going to be following along your lash line there, bringing it right down to where you have your tape and extending it out, and just for a bit of Cleopatra look, just to make a bit of fun, um, we're going to be going and we're going to be lining the top part down and bringing it down to the corner just to, to accentuate that cat eye look for a nice holiday fun look. And we're taking that and putting it in our corner as well to darken that up. So we're going to be taking Sippy Sippy and we're going to be taking a little brush and just kind of buffing that around where we made our second line. Then we're going to be taking our Urban Decay Glitter Liner and kind of adding a little bit of glitter to the corner, a little bit underneath. And it's good to use this to kind of make sure you even out your eye look. It's a lot more precise than trying to go in with your finger and the glue and this particular color is gold anyway so it's a much more precise application so it's good for around the tops of your eyes or wherever you feel like you missed with the glitter before. And so we're going to be doing the same thing with this eye over here, making a very exaggerated cat eye in the corner. Taking our glitter liner once again and just fixing up areas that may need a little bit of rounding out. Sippy Sippy color again. Gently rubbing. We're going to whiten our line, our inner waterline, adding mascara. Taking that tape off. Fixing my mistakes. Taking the Sippy Sippy color once again, and you're just going to be going over the top of your look just to soften it, make it look a little bit more complete. Alright, now for the final look, we're going to be doing a glitter liner, and we're going to be taking our tape and we're going to be putting that in the corners as well. I'm taking a modern renaissance palette and the shade Warm Taupe and the shade Venetian Red and the warm top goes in the crease and the Venetian red goes all over the lid and into the crease as well for a nice cranberry holiday look. We're going to be taking Cypress Umber and we're going to be darkening up our corners with that and then Primavera is going to be going in our first one third of the eye for a nice shimmery look. This liner here is nice and thick. It's an essence liner, just uh, waterproof. It's good for this look because I can make this wing pretty thick pretty easily. After you finish that, you're going to be taking your NYX glitter and a nice angled brush, taking it and pushing that glue right into where you put your liner at. You're going to be taking a black glitter, putting your angled brush, dipping it in and just pressing it onto your liner area. You're going to be doing this in short little motions, 
and this will cause a lot of fallout, but just be prepared for that. You don't want to swipe this at all because then you might risk taking off the actual liner or the glue itself. So after that, you just whiten up the inner corners and the waterline, add your mascara. And there you go, you take off the tape and enjoy your glittery eyeliner. So yeah guys, that's everything I have for you. So I hope you have a wonderful holidays and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in my next video. Cheers.